All right, YouTubers. So I've had my whole house fan for about a month now, and it's actually been really phenomenal with the ability to cool down uh, really the, the upstairs or downstairs at my convenience. Um, as I mentioned before, I've installed a smart switch off the, the whole house fan, so I get to control this off of my iPad here. And what's great about this TP-Link smart switch is that I can pretty much turn it on and off anywhere I have this as long as I have a internet connection and then at the same time if I really wanted to I can put a timer on it and kind of watch how much I run it. So overall it's been really cool and what I wanted to show was how much air is coming through with this fan. I've got this uh, pretty much this six foot slider door that I'm going to video or cook and it's got this sheer kind of curtain. And you'll see how much air gets pushed when I turn it on here. So check this out. I'm going to pan back here. So all that is basically you'll see the rise of that curtain. And a lot of air is just coming through this house. And as I mentioned before, it's great for the upstairs or downstairs. I like it because for the flexibility to cool upstairs a lot faster than I can do with traditional just fans by the windows and stuff, especially when the temperatures are a lot cooler outside. So right now, if, if it's hovering in the mid to low 60s outside, I can lower the temperature of this house to, to really around 70 to 72 degrees throughout the kind of the wee hours of the morning. So anyway, really good stuff. And as far as power consumption, I think I'm saving anywhere in the ballpark of three to three to five kilowatts, just in the amount of time that I avoid using the AC to cool down really the upstairs in the evenings. Whereas now I just pump on this whole house fan and I can drop the upstairs uh, temperature by a couple degrees in a matter of about 15 to 20 minutes. The bomb temperature is cooler outside. 